What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back at it with another affordable Amazon haul. It is summertime, so you know what that means. We gotta come at you with some brand new summer sets. We love bringing you our luxury brands, but we also love to mix things up and add some affordability to the list. And what better place for affordable activewear than Amazon? We have three unique summer sets from one of my favorite Amazon brands. You guys have heard me talk about Yorio quite a few times here on this channel. I do believe the first time I tried Yorio was through suggestions on TikTok like two years ago. I remember there were viral Amazon brands that really focalized on scrunch bumps, emphasizing the glutes, you know I love that. Nothing new there. And that's when Yorio came to my attention. I was like, all right, let me try this, bish. So fast forward, I've been trying a lot more from this brand and they're impressing me. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you love videos just like this. Everything is in my true size small. You can find my measurements right over here as well as in the description box below. Now obviously you can order these pieces directly from Amazon. They are an Amazon brand after all. But do keep in mind that if you order straight from their website, you can use my code GATA and it'll give you 15% off your entire order. So you actually save more money by going directly to their website. So I will have them linked down below for you and whatever you decide to do, more power to you. Thank you so much to your for sponsoring today's video. Let's start with what I firmly believe to be the most fun set of them all. I'm wearing the Lissa sports bra. These are the high-waisted scrunch tie-dye shorts. These are seamless. If you look on their site, they have a lot of different color options when it comes to this tie-dye style. Me personally, there was something about this hot pink that spoke to me. It reminded me of summertime cotton candy you go and get at a carnival. A very delicious color for the summertime. Now, when it comes to these shorts, these are a three and a half inch inseam. Now, there's some pros and cons to this. Let's start with the cons. A Little bit short for my taste. Three and a half inch inseam, you know, I would like at least four. <laughs> A half inch makes all the difference. Preferably five or six though. The only issue I had with these is when I squat, even a little bit, you will start to get a roll. That's typical with shorter shorts. Thought I'd mention that in case you're wondering. There's a lot to like about these shorts. Of course, I prefer a little more length, but I do think that this really serves a purpose. You're at the gym, you wanna see your gains, totally. Speaking of seeing the gains, this scrunch bum, it does all that for you. This is what Yorio's known for. They really emphasize the glutes. This scrunch is actually better quality than most of Amazon brand scrunch bumps. Typically the standard Amazon scrunch bump is just a stiff patch, that's it. You can feel it flossing in between the cheeks. With this, the scrunch is fairly thick. Don't get it twisted, but it does move with you. There's a little stretch in it. I think they did a great job with the overall comfort of these shorts. They do not cinch around the thighs, which is a huge deal for me. Typically with shorter shorts, like three and a half inch inseams, you will start to feel the dig. And with these, you just don't. There's a nice stretch. It's very comfortable. All around, seriously, like 10 out of 10. Even the compression is very comfortable for me. It's a moderate. Now this waistband is not three tiered. I think that's a big reason why it doesn't have a heavy compression, which I actually like. And you also have a very thick rib paneling going down the sides of the legs. Underneath the glutes, you do have a subtle contour that's barely noticeable, but it's there. There's no camel toe with seamless underwear. But as you can see with this specific design, it really helps to conceal sweat. You don't really see it showing through. I think without this tie dye, you might have an issue. This tie dye really does help make the sweat blend right in. Surprisingly enough, you see there's a lot of light tones here. You have a lot of light pink, almost white. It's surprisingly squat proof for being this light. Clearly you can see some black briefs showing through. I would not recommend you actually wearing that to the gym or in general, but in case you have tattoos, that's why I do that. Nude thong, you're perfectly fine to wear this to the gym. I would say they're extremely true to size. If you're in between, me personally, I'd size up rather than down. i just rather a little more room than not enough. Let's talk this matching sports bra, okay? So this is the Lissa sports bra, and it does have a twist front. It's different material than these shorts. This has a slippery to the touch material, removable bra pads, overall super low support. I think you can gather that just from looking at it. <laughs> it's not really meant to do a whole lot. <laughs> it's pretty much almost backless. So you see a lot of back, which I prefer. Now, when you're really moving around, lifting your arms up, you can expect slight under boob, and it does depend on your chest size. You don't have any adjustments on here. I do have to say though, very true to size. I'm super happy with my size small. If you're in between, I'd probably suggest sizing down. There's a lot of stretch. Now, something I do notice, there's no logos on these pieces, neither of them. I think it's time to check out this light brown set. 
We're looking at their V cross waist shorts and their crisscross sports bra. As you can tell, they're two slightly different colors. Their shorts are brown, the bra is light brown. Do they go? Yeah, all right, yeah. Now, unlike the tie-dye shorts where I literally just said there's no branding, we got some branding on the back of these shorts. Woven in, you got Yorio. You have a very fine ribbed waistband. Towards the front is where it crisscrosses. It actually overlays, crisscrosses over each other, and you do have a slight band dip. This adds a little curvature to the piece. Towards the back, you actually have more of a dramatic V seam than say the tie-dye shorts. These have a three and a half inch inseam as well. They roll as well too. No thigh cinch, same exact compression as you just saw, very moderate, very stretchy. The material's slightly different. These feel slightly thinner than the tie-dye shorts. This is much more subtle and straightforward. There's no glute contouring underneath. There's a very, very faint paneling going down the side, similar to Alphalete Amplify, how they have that ever so slight contour that's barely even noticeable. I feel like the tie-dye is just more fun, eye-catching in the best way. I feel like we've seen this style one too many times. Don't get it twisted, it's still adorable. If you want more solids, more nudes, I mean, check it out, they have other colors as well. If you're more into subtle pieces, you'll definitely love this one. Very true to size. If you're in between, I do think you can get away with sizing up. That's me, that's how I would personally do it. I would rather size up and have more room than size down and be too sausaged in. But again, that really does depend on your preference. I think that this material is very forgiving in that department because of its stretch. So I think you can't really go wrong either way if you're in between. It depends on what type of compression you prefer. And for $25 shorts, these are very squat proof. Surprisingly squat proof. Now for the matching sports bra. This is the crisscross sports bra in light brown. First and foremost, this absolutely needs to be sized down. That has to be said. Look at the overlap. There's so much extra room. It lips off the side of my boob. It's just, it just kind of hangs a little bit. There's some serious potential, but boy, did I get the wrong freaking size. There's no adjustments either, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Now, just like the sports bra I'm wearing that I just talked about, this is very low support as well. There's no band, there's actually nothing underneath that creates a shelf bra for you. So you really have to have a small chest to be able to wear these. <laughs> So you have the traditional scoop neck, you still have removable bra pads. The focal point of this piece is without a doubt this beautiful, beautiful backing. Now, if this bra is too tight, it obviously is gonna mark up your back. But given that there was so much room, it was very comfortable. I didn't feel any problems in that department. And I do think sizing down, I won't really feel anything as well. Last but not least, let's talk about this navy blue set. This is the Alyssa sports bra, the bra I'm literally wearing right now. So I already talked about it. You already know all the good details on it. But these shorts though, very different from the two you just saw in many different ways. This is not seamless. These are like cargo looking shorts. <laughs> it's actually a very slippery material we have here. Unlike these gym friendly shorts, this definitely could be gym friendly, don't get it twisted, but this material is so different. This is the V cross pocket shorts. You don't just have a V waistband in the front. You also have it in the back, so it dips in the back. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this on the site, I was like, I don't know about that. That's out of my comfort zone, and I just don't know if I'm gonna vibe with it. And I'm vibing with it. And I have something sexy about that dip. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of seams happening here. This is not a seamless short. You have a seam breakup right down the middle of the V. This scrunch is very different. This is like a seamed scrunch but yet it's still comfortable and stretchy. You have not one, but two open pockets. Now these are very light to moderate support. They do roll up when squatting in them, but I do feel like these shorts are very summer friendly because they're extremely breathable. They are 100% squat proof, but just like the other shorts, they do roll. Do they do anything other than three and a half? I'm just curious. Where are my biker shorts at? <laughs> Overall, I'd say very true to size, in between, possibly size up. I feel like these pieces as a set really work together. I mean, you have the little plunge of the bra, the angle of the V waistband. I just feel like all together, it really helps to lengthen my torso. And it's just super flattering. Like when I first put this set on, I was like, damn, that's me. I liked how I looked, all right? 
nothing wrong with that. All right guys, that concludes yet another Yorio Amazon haul video. What are our thoughts on these sets? I personally love them. I think they're great for the summertime, super affordable, great quality, especially for that price point. Let me know if you have any questions about these pieces that I shared with you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Amazon videos just like this. I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video. We have three unique, why did I do this? <laughs> That's two, Ash. <laughs> now for the matching sports bra in light brown. Brown? Oh, I don't know why I talk the way. <laughs> you guys remember one of my past or uh, Oreo? <laughs> I knew it was a matter of time before I called Yorio Oreo. These shorts are, you guessed it, three and a half inch inseam. <laughs>